object exponential script. Today's agenda would be introduction, what are IIQ objects, overview of object exponential script, and the workflow for the same. Coming to introduction, the shell script will export objects from one instance and transfers the exported objects to the second IIQ instance. And then the second IIQ instance will import the objects which are exported from the first instance. So the main aim of the shell script is to transfer objects from one instance to other instance. This is a kind of SSP. As we all know that SailPoint Identity IQ is a Java based application as it follows class and object model. A class is a blueprint of an object. So in SailPoint context, let us consider an example. Consider identity as a class and identity objects which we can see in SailPoint Identity IQ. So whatever user onboarded onto Identity IQ is considered as an identity object. So as discussed before, so the overview would be we have two instances of IIQs. So we need to export objects from one instance and transfer it to the second instance. And then the second instance will import the exported objects. So exporting and importing is done through IIQ console. IIQ console has a separate documentation for commands. So from that documentation, if, if we can refer, we have a command to export required objects. So using that export command, we are exporting objects into one single file and splitting that a single file containing all the objects into multiple files based on their classes and then transporting it to the second instance. The second instance will use IIQ console to import the exported objects from the first instance one. After successful import, you can see the changes in IIQ. So coming to workflow, how does this script actually uh, design? Let us consider two instances. Let's say we are exporting objects from instance one and importing it to instance two. So we'll first run the scripts from instance one. As part of script, it will import all the objects, sorry, export all the objects from instance one and it will create a big a large file and then the script will process the large file into multiple files based on the classes and this is to be made into a single directory so this directory is sent to the instance two so as part of uh, transferring these files to instance two we need to connect to instance two so uh, the best suggested way to connect to uh, the second remote location uh, instance is SCP. SCP is, is a protocol to transfer or receive files securely. SCP supports encryption, so uh, whatever files we are sending is secure. So we are using SCP. Uh, we are simply uh, copying files from instance 1 to instance 2. So SCP uh, will transfer required files whatever export objects to instance 2 and then 
the next part is running import command from instance to so in order to run uh, import command in instance to we will connect to the instance to terminal through secure shell this is, this is also a protocol to connect to remote instances terminal so through secure shell we run import commands or import scripts hence the objects will get imported in order to uh, look into changes if we uh, run the application server and up the ui we can see all the objects exported from instance one thank you